guys, welcome to Mini Live, your favorite classic mini podcast on the web. I am your host, Mini Mike. We got a sweet one today, all the way from Ireland again. David, the Irish Mini. Go give him a follow. Check out his awesome build. Give me a follow on Instagram as well, minilife.37. Shoot me an email. Tell me when do you want to see these podcasts drop. Email is theminilife37 at gmail.com. Answer the questions below on Spotify. Give me some feedback. Um, yeah, let me know. I want to hear who you want on this podcast, who you want to see next. What is your number one mini enthusiast celeb that you want on this podcast? Enjoy the show. All right, I think we're rolling. We are live with David the Irish Mini. Thank you, David, for coming on here. What's going on, man? How are you? Thanks very much. I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. I've uh, I've been a fan of the first couple of podcasts. You're doing a great job, and it's cool listening to the uh, to everyone's stories. And like you like the whole idea behind it. The whole stories. There's tons of them. You know, everyone's got a everyone who has an old classic mini has got a story. If you <laughs> especially about breaking down. <laughs> it's seriously. Along the lines of that. There's everyone has a story behind it, and that's my favorite part. And and as I've said before many times, that's like, that's why I wanted to start this. Because every time I roll up to a show or a meet or just jibber jabbering with people, like there's always some cool story behind it. Any classic car, really, I think. And um, I think it's uh, doing well so far. And it's interesting yeah, for me. Brilliant. So, Well, I follow. I'm a, I'm a fan of Cole. Uh, you know, I've obviously watched his videos. I think everyone who's uh done some work to a mini has come across cole at some stage so I, I really enjoyed his podcast and the guy i forget his name but uh you know no limits or whatever the the pickup the big mm-hmm. pickup um ricky yeah just yeah i follow him on instagram and it's yeah his stuff is just incredible the fact that he uses it as a daily well kind of a daily but you know for stuff is just insane pretty so much cool. daily he literally is he drives that too because he owns um a like a wood engraving kind of company for like uh, cake toppers yeah. and signs and stuff like that. So he literally drives to Home Depot almost daily with that so thing and, and loads it so up. It's sick. so funny. Yeah. So. In, in Ireland, it's a little bit tricky to do that with a classic because the weather is a bit yeah. of an issue. But uh, I, I don't want to be like, I'm not, I suppose I'm making excuses. Maybe I should just do it. But it's, uh, it's pretty full on here. Like, and the roads aren't great and it's freezing. And if you break down, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. In Southern California, we usually don't have that issue. But um, the last, like, this past month, it's just been raining nonstop. So everyone's like, what the hell? Like, what? Are we in okay, Seattle? No I don't way. know if you know anything about the United States. Seattle is always raining. So we're like, what the okay. hell is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, so I don't think anyone's really driving their 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 minis out. <laughs> At least I'm not. I don't know. Mine mine leaks. So <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I'm I'm like when I was building mine, I was kind of at the start. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be one of those precious people in the garage and blah blah. And but like you put so much effort into certain stuff then and you're just kind of like, oh, if I drive this in the rain, it's just like, you know, it's just going to undo all the lovely work I've done. I agree. Um, like I so pride myself just... like on the interior, like not the interior, the um, suspension was pretty new and clean and yes, the wheel well yeah. was clean. Like the rest of the body looks kind of shit, but uh, I was like, I don't <laughs> want mud up in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's funny. And I, I like, I, I kind of have a, there's a, a bit of a car club here that we um we run and it's one of the meets was just like a big drive along the whole kind of west coast of the area that i'm in and uh i kind of i kind of was involved in organizing it <laughs> so and the day came and it was like i left here at like 5 a.m and it was pouring rain and i took the mini and i was just like oh, i have to go because i kind of organized this <laughs> it's just killing oh, me inside it was just like, you know but yeah uh, it is what it is they're they're meant to be driven at the end of the day yeah you know? so, of course it's always fun and i think you're also um you know runner up or if not uh number one right now with the backdrop of your your uh, video here if anyone's watching the video we got a badass background with his cole cole had a sweet background with his mini and uh but now your yours is like that it's like mysterious with the shed and yeah. it's like <laughs> How can you see <laughs> yeah it looks pretty good right it now. looks Maybe cool you... it's like uh, <laughs> it looks cool i'm the, not gonna lie the shed the shed was a, is a new addition i've uh I, oh, that's all part. We can talk about that in a while when I talk about building the mini, but I, it was in a tiny little shed. But now I've I literally in the last probably four months, four or five months, I've built this shed and it can 
it's like 40 foot by 20 it's quite quite sizey and uh it's yeah it's like it's nice it's nice to have a nice space now where i can you know you can take things apart and kind of walk away and you don't have to you know like it's not like you're you're messing up your one and only shed it's cool i, I have a bit of space to work now which is, yeah. which is nice yeah no it's nice i have a one car garage and um okay it's pretty much would be like so snug on either side of like a normal car but i yes. fit two classic minis on, in it and they ah, nice. <laughs> so i like have one pushed all the way to the back and the my other project on dolly is rolling in the front so. okay nice, nice but it's tight nice, still sweet. it's still tight <laughs> yeah that's the thing with minis that's you know you can buy a few of them if you uh if you want to even a small shed because they're so small it's yeah handy. yeah it's perfect <laughs> Uh, let's get into a little bit like, uh, you know, the first question I usually always ask and my, uh, the most interesting to me is, you know, what's your earliest memories of minis and what got you into the classic mini? Um, I think we'll get into okay. it a little bit later. I think you have other classic cars, but let's talk about the mini yeah. first. Um, the mini. So yeah, I guess like from an early, like, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. First memory. I mean, it's kind of the typical, you know, the Italian job, I guess more like, and all that kind of stuff. And you know, the mini, I suppose it's, it was kind of, I, I can't even remember like my first time seeing a mini in, in person, but um, like, yeah, I guess minis are just so iconic that like they're, you know, Mr. Bean is another thing, you know, yeah. Mr. Bean is there like, go, yeah. that, that, that was probably my first time seeing it maybe on TV. And then the Italian job, I probably, I was probably a bit young to see the original Italian job. So it's more the new one with, um, that I would have seen. And then I've, I've since watched the old one, but, um, but yeah, that would have been probably my first memory of seeing him. And then, I guess seeing them at car shows a couple of years ago when I got kind of got into cars, I started seeing them, you know, and um, yeah, they're just, it's just such an iconic shape, but I can't really remember. Was there like in regards to a moment of like, yeah, I really want to buy a mini. I don't think like I had one, I was looking for a project and it, it kind of came across, I came across a mini um, and kind of snowballed from there. But I did have, I had a classic car before the mini I have, and I still have it as an MGB Roadster. I don't know, are you familiar with MGs? Yep, yep. So course. it's like a convertible little, um, yeah, 1.8, really fun car, rear wheel, rear wheel drive. It's like a really old version of an MX-5. Yes, <laughs> and the Anna, yes. You, yeah. them, you know? Um, but I, I purchased that, God, a good couple of years ago now, and uh, it was running and driving, did a bit of work on that, kind of, learned a few things about restoring cars on that. I wouldn't say I'm restoring cars. Like I wouldn't say I restore cars. It's very, I'm a much, I'm very much on YouTube and Google. I'm yeah, not, yeah. Uh, but um, bought that, kind of learned a few things on that. And then I got that running and I really enjoyed driving it. And every time I do some work on that, I'd end up like having it sitting there for ages. Um, and I had a bit of spare money lying around and I was like, right, I kind of want to have one I can drive, <laughs> leave it, leave it the way it is that it works and then get one that I can kind of work on. Um, and came across the mini, yeah, came across this mini and it kind of just snowballed from there. Then I, I can, t I can, will I start telling the story about that, about how I bought it and stuff? Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, uh, how you, yeah. How you got into it, um, yeah. or into I that think, car. Um, yeah. Yeah. I got, I like the big, a big thing for me actually was, and I have to give him credit was, um, you know, uh, Tom Chirac over in the, of in course. the UK or yes. is it Chirac or I don't know how to pronounce it. Like I got, got to give that guy credit for just, I suppose I watched his videos prior. I kind of thought about minis and spotted this one online and watched a couple of his videos. And I just went on a, like a rampage on his videos for like probably nearly close to a month um, and, and got through as many of them as I can. And I kind of, from, from him seeing him and he was like, you know, I'm sure he won't mind me saying this. I don't even know the guy, but like he wasn't too experienced in the whole thing and he just kind of threw himself in, um, yep. but he was totally able to do it. He, like, you know, so I kind of kind of learned from him. I was like, well, if there's a car, you know, if there is a car I'm going to buy with no mechanical knowledge and no <laughs> real knowledge of cars and try and do it up, it would be a mini because it seems to be the one that has the most amount of, I guess, content out there and knowledge. Like you can, you know, the way it is, you can literally type anything into YouTube. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it like the likes of Cole or Tom or, oh God, there's so many. That DB mini guy, I found him great. Yes. I think he's in Scotland. Um, and there's a lot of other guys, but yeah, like, you know, you just, you type in at, like doing a ball bearing, boom, there's 15 videos on how to do a ball bearing or like, you know, whatever yeah. it is. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, uh, so that's kind of, I kind of thought, right. It kind of gave me a bit of confidence. And, um, this car popped up on, we have a thing in Ireland called done deal. It's kind of like, um, I guess for you guys, it'd be like maybe gum tree. Is that a thing? Yeah. Or like something like that. 
Is uh, Gumtree even a thing anymore? I don't know. I, I don't. I've heard of Gumtree and I've seen it a lot, probably because I've seen like uh, UK ads. But is it kind of like a Craigslist? It's just like a classified Craigslist. online. Craigslist. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so this this thing popped up on that um, for was it two thousand two hundred euros, which I guess is like maybe twenty five hundred dollars or yeah, thereabouts. Let's just kind call of. it. Tw- yeah. Let's just call it two thousand yeah, dollars or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so it was it popped up like that and basically the ad had very little information said it wasn't running uh but it was running when it was parked up it got a spray job done years and years and years ago but it just sat in the shed ever since so i had kind of little little kind of um i didn't have an awful lot to go off um i rang the guy really nice young guy basically the story was he he uh got a job in canada he got it got it got some work done and it sprayed it didn't really finish the project, never really got anywhere with the engine or the interior or anything like that. Just kind of got the body work done. Mm-hmm. And then he left and went to Canada for like, I think a couple of years, like six or seven years. So it was sitting in a shed for quite a while. Um, and just kind of off that, I kind of thought, well, it's cheap enough that I can afford it. Uh, it's not, I, I, I thought, okay, if the body work, the body work was what was was frightening to me. I thought the idea of learning how to weld was, was terrifying. So <laughs> I thought if I, uh, <laughs> I was like, which I've since kind of, Got her, like I figured things out, but no, I still, I still body work is still my. Like, you still got to use the grinder fear. afterwards. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, I spend like way more time. People always ask me, they're like, "Oh, can you weld something for me?" I was like, "Listen, I, I understand how to put two pieces of metal together, but yes. it's not pretty." <laughs> exact same. Yeah, yeah, exact same. Yeah. Um, and whether it'll actually hold when you drive down the road is another story. Well, together, that's, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm praying that it does. <laughs> yeah, like that all the time. Um, but yeah, so. I, I kind of found out from him that basically the body was fairly good um, and I just kind of took off one day with a trailer I got borrowed a trailer off a friend and I drove up and you know that typical thing of going to see a car like if you've got a trailer on the back of, of your car you're kind of like you're fairly committed yeah, yeah. already you're and taking like, it home <laughs> yeah yeah you are really you know so I knew when I pulled up and I, like basically like yeah the car was sitting there in a shed covered in yeah tarp and like loads of boxes of bits and the engine was just the engine looked horrible like really like I wouldn't say like not rust but you know the way engines get they're just like grimy, grimy and just yeah. horrible and yeah um interior looked terrible like there was nice kind of seats but they were just yeah real grubby ripped like there was just it was just not nice to look at apart from the body and the yeah. body even though it was caked in dust all the usual spots where, where which I had YouTubed, you know, where does a mini normally rust? And probably it was one of Cole's videos showing me or something like that. <laughs> I went around and uh, and looked at all the spots. And what year was little, this mini, or so what or what 90, kind? It, it's a ninety two and it's an SPI, so okay. it's fuel injected. Now, in hindsight, so I I probably wouldn't have gone for an SPI, but but in like with my lack of knowledge, I was like mini cool. I think they're all the same, whatever, and. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really do my research when it came to what actual engine was in it. Because in hindsight, I guess the, the SPI is quite complicated when it comes to I did to the wiring. same thing. That was my, Mine was an SPI It really? Well. Is that your mistake as well? Yeah, yeah I did like, a carb conversion. Was, That's because I was like, was, mine was, uh, the components were just trashed. I was like, I'm not dealing with this. Okay. So I stripped it and okay. did a carb conversion on it. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I, because it, it was funny. I got it like you know when I was there at the guy's house and I was looking through it. And basically, what we did is he was like, "Oh, look, it will turn over and turn over, and it should." It came in running, and we started putting fuel like into the injection unit to right. like because there was there was obviously no fuel coming from the tank or something. Eventually, literally, just got it to go like, cha-cha-cha. and that was enough for me to be like, <laughs> "Okay, um... something's moving. At least it's like you know it can eventually move if you know it obviously needs a lot of work." But it, like, so it didn't actually drive onto the trailer myself and the guy who owned it and the guy's dad pushed it onto the trailer. And nice. uh, it was definitely nice. a bit of a moment when it was like strapped up and like I was driving down the road. I was like, wow, was like, because I, I even I was thinking when I get back to the house, how am I even going to like, you know, it's just me. And at the time, we like it was just me and my wife or girlfriend at the time even. And she was uh and I was kind of like, um, I was like, God, I, I wonder if she's going to be able to push this into the shed with me. Because like, <laughs> you know, it was even the tires were a little flat and stuff, but. But um, but anyway, yeah, I p- picked it up like that, um, drove it home, or drove, brought it home, pushed it into the shed, and it, it to be honest, it kind of sat for a while then because just like life got kind of in the way, and we were ended up kind of buying, we were buying a house at the time, we were the place we were, we were renting, um, and it had a shed, and that was kind of the reason I bought it because I had space for it, but um, the, but we were buying a house, so that kind of it was just put on the back burner for a little while. 
Um, and when we, when I bought this, we bought the house we're in now, we basically, there was like one kind of real old concrete crappy sheds that were all kind of falling apart. Um, and I put the mini in there and I was like, right, I can, you know, kind of work on the mini here. And I remember my wife coming out to me and be like, if you work on cars in here, like the roof is literally, like you're going to come out one day and either I'm going to come out and you're going to be dead or you're going to come out one morning and the car is just going to be like a pancake. Oh, on the no. ground. So there was, there was like a steel shed that basically the old owners used to use for like lawnmowers and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but the door of it was a sliding door. It was like a three foot door. So it wasn't wide enough to get a mini in. So what I actually did was I took apart, it was like a steel frame shed. So I actually took a, apart the whole side of the shed and roll the mini into it and then put the shed back together around the mini. <laughs> so I was kind of, it was in there then and it was like, right, you know, it's, 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 it's protected at least from the elements. Um, but you know, it's, it's just time to get to work on it. And that's when I really, I suppose that was, let me see, that was kind of late 2019, maybe early 2020, just before the whole madness of COVID kicked off. Okay. Um, and that's when you and, bought it is around that time? So I know I, I bought it like summer 19, like or kind of, or, yeah, middle of summer kind of 2019. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, So yeah, so put it into that shed and at least it was kind of protected at that stage. I wasn't in any kind of rush to, to do it. You know, I wasn't getting wet or it wasn't getting damp or whatever. So um, so sat in that shed and then, yeah, I started doing a few bit, but more more so research. I just started kind of diving into all them guys on YouTube. Um, got the Haynes manual, you know, started diving into that. You're right. Um, and didn't really, like, started taking things apart. Not an awful lot, but started just like, you know, real simple. Like, oh, let's take the alternator off and let's take the, you know, a coil off or let's whatever, you know, super simple stuff. Um, took the seats out, things like that. Um, and then COVID hit and this was like kind of a, blessing like i work so work-wise I, I actually work as a, a wedding photographer so oh, okay. we yeah so we we had like you know a lot of weddings booked for 2020 and when COVID hit everything just went bananas and people started moving dates and then changing to the following year and then changing on again to the next year and it kind of was just a whole it was a it was a strange time in 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 our kind of in, in my life because i had loads of time on my hands which i've always ha had my own business and just been like go 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 right so when COVID ha happened it was like oh i have like nothing to do and i have this classic uh mini in the, in the shed so um it was kind of a bit of a blessing in disguise because i just had loads of time to 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 work on the mini you know yeah um and then then yeah, I feel like am I going too fast here? Am I flying through no, the whole story? Or just I... keep going. <laughs> hey, we'll we'll circle back on stuff. That's fine. I like to hear it. So you you uh, um, pretty much like your whole country kind of shut down, though. I mean, I think uh, pretty yeah, much everywhere was... did, but like in here in the U.S., uh, um, certain things were considered. Uh, what they call it the. Uh, uh, like essential workers, I think they called it. Yes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I worked at a car dealership at the time and okay. and cars and mechanic shops were essential because people, if they needed to get their stuff done, but okay. technically sales wasn't, but because yeah, it was course. at a dealership, <laughs> I had to still go in. So I didn't get this time. And I, I was like kind of pumped because I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get to work on my cars and just yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. But no, nope, <laughs> I didn't get this, this, pandemic bill and i was kind of jealous because scrolling through instagram everyone was getting but i mean obviously a lot of people were out of jobs and that's not fun but you know yeah, I, yeah. you know no, there was there was like there was definitely um you know obviously i'm not like i feel kind of almost guilty a little bit because as, as you know it, it was obviously a difficult time for a lot of people but right. um but covid for me and my wife uh well we we got married towards the end of covid but the uh, yeah like for for us, it was kind of we we were lucky enough that, you know, business wise, it had obviously like like business basically went. But we were lucky we were kind of in a position that we weren't major stressed about it. And, you know, we had like a bit of time just to be kind of chilled and not be working, which was nice. Right. Um, right. So, yeah, it was it was but it was a funny time in Ireland. It was like, yeah, we're on lockdown for two weeks. It's this thing. It'll be gone, whatever. And then it was like, oh, it's kind of going to let's do another month. And then next thing. Yeah, it was just a whole snowball of of like a six months, a year, two years, blah blah blah. It was just so pretty yeah, much the pretty same nuts. as everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it got to like in Ireland, it was funny. I don't want to talk too much about COVID, I guess, in that mini podcast. But it got pretty intense. It was like there was like a was there like a two kilometer limit or something? You couldn't go further than two kilometers at one stage in the lockdown. Like pretty intense, you know. Like it was really. Pretty, yeah, like something out of a movie, you know, but in and in hindsight now, like, you know, people are getting COVID all the time around the place and it's not that big a deal now. And it's just kind of almost. Kind yeah. Of, 
a little funny yeah. to look back on it now, you know, but, uh, but yeah. yeah. But it allowed you to work on your mini. So it had been sitting exactly. for a year <laughs> or so in the year. So it's still in this little uh, metal shed that box, you had to take. The... <laughs> so you started building it's it like... in that shed. In that shed. Yeah. It literally everything like 99% of the work to the mini was done in that shed. So I, what I did at that stage then was I just started stripping it and I was, you know, taking photos of everything. Cause I'd learned from the guys on YouTube, you know, shoot everything the way it yep. is, take it apart. And then, you know, and then at least you kind of have an idea of where things go. And I was so, so like particular about like, you know, if the, like the bolts that came off the alternator bracket, like they stayed in a little bag right beside the alternator and like, Good. you know, Good. everything yep. was like, you know, as, as, as best I could anyway, you know? Um, and so did that and the mini, yeah, stripped it right back, like back to complete zero. Like everything was completely out of the mini. Um, so it was quite scary looking at it as a bare, 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 bare shell. Cause it was terrifying <laughs> that I have to oh, put yeah. it back together. Oh, yeah. Um, but, but you know, like with the time, like if it was now, it would never probably be done because work's back being busy and stuff. But like at the time it was like, right, I've got all this time and let's just crack on with it. Um, so, so yeah, started, started, got it back to zero and then just started everything that I put back on was either, you know, like I completely sanded it down, resprayed it, painted, fixed it, whatever I needed to do, or else it was bought. Like if something was, you know, too far gone, it was bought from any of the, the, the mini guys over in the UK, you know? And again, this was, I was lucky this was pre Brexit, like, you know, so Brexit in the UK has kind of really messed up in buying in parts now. So I was lucky things were like the right price and they were, there were, there were, there was no messing with import duties and all that kind of stuff. I was going to say there's the bigger UK. taxes now. Oh, it's nuts. Like if, if you buy like 150 euros worth of, worth of parts, you could be stung with like another 50, if not sometimes 70 euros wow. of like, you know, and it's just, but they don't even like, there's no real way of like knowing. Sometimes it goes under, some, seems to like slip through. And then sometimes mm -hmm. you get this letter saying you owe this. So it's just a little bit annoying. But mm. uh, So I just spoke not, to uh, Ian from Team Bollylock Classic. Oh, yes. And yeah, yeah. I know. I, I follow him as well. Yeah. Yeah. I believe he said he's a, a I, I trying to look back at my notes but he's in northern ireland and they're still like a part of the uk so you're in a different part of ireland that's uh got brexited <laughs> if that's yes, the right thing <laughs> yeah so we're in the southern uh, like south ireland which is a country of itself basically okay. northern ireland is uh is like attached basically to not the to UK. Offend not anybody. Attached, but it, yeah no yeah so where so there's uh there's south and north but north have all the let's say benefits of being in the UK and whatever benefits they are. And then, but Ireland is a thing of itself. You know, but, um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, mini parts, but that's about it really. Right. <laughs> no, I'm sure there's a lot of UK people. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I love everything. I'm inclusive. This is an inclusive podcast. Yeah, yeah. We love everybody. <laughs> yeah, they, they, them days are gone. We all get on now, but uh, it was funny actually. I put up a, I bought a new mats for the mini. This is a couple of months back and they had, um, they had Union Jack flags, you uh -huh. know, like the British flag on it. Right. Um, um, and in Ireland, I was just like, oh, I just don't really want a Union Jack on my flag. And like, I'm not a big, like, there's nothing weird about it. But right. I just was like, oh, I just... so I got like rubber kind of, um, I don't know what you call the pattern, like crosshatch or something like yep. rubber kind of whatever. And, and glued it on. But I put it up on the Instagram and like, there's a load of the UK guys just laughing, just right back, just <laughs> laughing, going like typical Irish guy, just getting rid of the Union Jack. <laughs> Perfect. Mini, but, but, um, but yeah, so, so that's, uh. So that's the kind of, yeah, it started from then and just buying bits and yeah, and just l learning. And it was insane the amount of uh, YouTube and, and, and Googling that I did just to figure it out. Um, and then the mini, like what it turned into, I never really had a kind of, there was no end goal. I was kind of just being like, this will look cool. I'm just adding it as I yeah, went. That's kind of um, how I did. <laughs> but I, I, I definitely, uh, the mini definitely isn't for everyone. It's a bit kind of wild and why, you know, it's wide, it's on 13 inch wheels and it's just kind of, it's definitely not a purist mini. It's not a cafe racer. It's like, no. yeah, it's just a bit of a boy racer kind of car, or, you know, or whatever. But, um, but yeah, it's good. Explain it was, it boy racer. I feel like that might not be oh, a right. term over here in the U S I, I, um, granted we have a lot of people. So, uh, but a, a lot okay, of the audience well, boy racer in, in, I guess Ireland. And I think it's a UK thing too. It's kind of like a, um, God, what would like, I'm trying to think of what you might call it over there, but just a young person who adds like, 
a lot of like silly modifications onto a car. Okay. I guess that's a good way of kind of summing it up. So okay. maybe not like a tasteful, like, you know, not always tasteful. Kind it's not of like, period correct. You know. It's a little more <laughs> yeah, outlandish no. type it's of thing. It's kind of wild. And yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, listen, um, like think- I, this is definitely not something I would ever build. But when I first saw it, I was like, damn, that's a cool mini. Like it, it, yeah. it works. <laughs> you know, you have some kind of like the, the tire lettering on it. Um, and some of that kind of stuff, the the flares, it all fits really well, and it's menacing because it's like yeah. it's, it's black, right? It's black. Yeah, it's black. Exactly, black with a white roof, which is kind of I think well, someone told me it was rare enough in minis, but like I guess there was probably tons of them, but like you don't see too many. You don't see too black many black minis no. that much. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it kind of it does. It suits the kind of it's you know a bit of a maybe batman kind of spec or whatever you want to call yeah, it you know yeah no it works that. a lot like it's i i, I prefer 10 inch wheels but the wheels you chose the the flares you chose everything it it works really well whereas maybe some of the other boy racer racer ones that i've seen are <laughs> uh, you know and again we're all inclusive here i like everybody but you know what i mean like yeah. the, some of them are really like boom in your face kind of um outlandish yes. type yeah, of thing yeah. but uh and no, it's funny, one of the guys said it to me, one of the mini guys here in Ireland said it to me not too long ago. He, I was like, oh, I'm thinking of, because I did think about putting a roll cage, like, you know, the half cage in the back. Yeah. Was kinda, that was my, like, next thing I was going to add. And uh, he kind of said to me, he's like, just be careful, like, because you've got it. You've hit the sweet point of, like, adding things, but yep. you don't want to go to that point of just, like, I bought everything and this and this and this. And yeah. like, let's see how many things I can add to it, you know. So yeah. I do think, looking at it now, Maybe the the cage is maybe a thing, but outside of that, I think there's no more added added to. I think it needs to kind of just sit where it is at the moment. <laughs> For yeah. now, anyway, you know. Yeah, I agree. No, um, cage is always kind of a cool little addition. I don't think that will. Well, everything on a mini is a rabbit hole. We we joke about yeah. that all the time, and we send that uh, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> a gif where the alice is falling down the rabbit hole <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah you need to make a yeah. <clears throat> you need yeah, to make yeah. a shirt for mini life of like rabbit hole or something you know yes funny. yeah yeah a load of mini parts just flying past her yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so let's jump but, uh, back to you so you were building it you stripped it back to everything you didn't respray it or anything but you basically stripped no, it back cleaned it up and you started doing an engine build too i think right well, yeah, not an internal refresh. Build. So, okay. yeah, so it's and it, I've got a bit of a funny story on this as well. I get to it. So, yeah, basically, I just stripped the engine, took the you know subframes, everything was out, block the whole lot. Um, but I didn't. It's basically gearbox, uh, block. You know, everything. The big, the big parts stayed together. I didn't want to go into them because I literally that scared me uh, <laughs> just to go in there. And even even now after couple of years of looking up videos i'd still going in there just kind of gives me the the shakes i just want to let someone who knows what they're doing do that kind of stuff fair enough um but i got it back to yeah as far back as i could go um and then kind of yes like even the block was i sanded it for bloody a week <laughs> you know like with a little <laughs> screw gun like a, a screw gun with a little like you know whatever you call them things a little round sander disc thing right, I was right, just like right. going into all the corners um, I remember coming into my like to me, to my wife like and I'd have like you know like rust and like bits of paint like in my ears and like behind my ears and like my hair would be like a different color just because I'd be or I'd have goggles I'd take the goggles off and there would yes. be the shape of the goggles perfectly around my face. <laughs> yep, 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 same. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, so that went on for yeah a long, long time and yeah, engine came out like sprayed um, and. Like all the kind of spray painting I did was all just like myself with like spray paint and lacquer and stuff. See, this is the thing with COVID, all the kind of construction shops and everything were still open, all the kind of motor factors as well. Right. Um, all the, you know, the, um, the car places and stuff. So I could, we could, I could still buy all the things, which was, which, which was pretty handy, you know? So there was a couple of break, like broke the lockdown rules and going in past my two kilometers to get a can of spray paint. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter too much, you know? But, um, but yeah, so that was, that was kind of it. Yeah. And it just was a slow bill. And then I just kind of tried to do, as I was building stuff, I tried to save money as much as I could. So if, if there was something that was doable that I didn't have to kind of buy the new part for, I'd try and kind of work away ar- around it. Right. Um, like, I don't know. I can't even think like even the wing mirrors I did, like the wing mirrors I had were the old white ones, the real plasticky ones. Mm-hmm. And they just looked terrible. So I like, and they were just, they wouldn't really work anyway. They were kind of just in bits, but, um, 
so I built kind of my own kind of wind, uh, uh, mirror bracket and got these little bullet mirrors, which are really cool, which are completely like not functional, by the way. They don't do anything you can't see of them at all. Like, so they look know, cool, it, though. <laughs> I don't know. Is it like the design of the mirror or is it just who put them on, which would be me? But like, I like literally I can't see anything out of either of them when I'm driving. So but luckily, the, the mini is pretty much made of glass around the outside. So you're, you're yeah, you're, those little white mirrors pretty, were surprisingly pretty good. I, I ran those on mine for okay. a while and um you could see a lot more because the the shape of it was a lot and then i went to the bullets as well okay. and the first time i put them on i was like wow this is sketchy but <laughs> i ended up <laughs> been it because i have a um a similar bracket to yours that i purchased and not made but uh, okay. i was able to finagle it where i could see for me only so if anyone else drives it they're probably screwed but <laughs> yeah so where did you get Brilliant. all this material that you made like because did you make the dash the grill and the the wing so, yeah, bracket probably, all of the same this is one of the biggest uh biggest like i suppose jobs maybe almost to the whole thing it was a uh, I basically I saw a photo online and it was a photo from a like a Subaru or something like a rally well it's probably not even a rally Subaru but it looked like it was set up to be a rally car but like judging on the, this material it probably it probably wasn't but like I saw this picture and I just went on like a like a hunt for, it's called um perfor, perforated steel or something so yeah. it's um it's used a lot in you know to let air what it's actually used a lot in ireland is in old farms to they use it basically at the top of like far at the top, the top of a farm building and basically lets out the smell of um of like cow okay. dung but it obviously you know it still it still seals kind of the area so that's where i found it in a farm like down the road i was walking the dog um walking my dog like during the lockdown and i saw it and i was like that's the bloody stuff like and i and i the farmer i didn't get to talk to him like, i just couldn't get to meet him or whatever but i was like that's it so i went on like a uh like a deep dive on the internet and i found this one crowd this this company in, in cork which is about maybe two hours south of me um and they they sold it but the thing was they sold it by the sheet which was like eight foot by four foot or something okay and i was like okay that's fine and like the price was expensive but it was like ah, oh, like it will it will be worth it so i was kind of like willing to pay the price i wasn't too worried about that but mm -hmm. um but then you know, the guy was like okay this is normally like shipped on like a pallet so the pallet like stacks up like two you know usually a company would order like 200 of them or whatever right right and right. it would be on a pallet but he's like, but we can't ship it any other way. So we have to charge you for a full pallet price, which was like almost as much as like the sheet itself. And oh, I was wow. like, oh, and it was just like one of those moments where I, I, I think I sat on it for like two weeks. I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. And I was like, no, 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 I just can't justify it. And then I was like, no, I'm going to buy it. And I was like, no, no, no. And, and then eventually I just kind of rang the guy and I was like, right, let's just do it. And like, because it's it's the exact stuff I want. And it was, uh, um, so it came and yeah, it came and like just started working with it. I had built kind of, a bit of a grill shape kind of with some plywood and you know just basically like cut it out and then the same with the um with the uh dashboard but the dashboard is something i'm kind of i'm fairly proud of it looks it looks really cool i'm really it happy really with it. like it they, and there was a lot of messing like on the inside because i have the tree dials like probably the same as you the spi dials so it's like the tree you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. what are they are they five inch ones or whatever i forget what they are yeah the three, um, the three clock binnacle type of thing for the yeah exactly so i so but you rubber. know if in the original dash that's kind of built there's kind of a bit of an angle like a piece of wood that kind of angles it up a little bit yep so trying to fit that basically onto a whole new piece of plywood but in a way that it yeah that it worked with them that 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 perforated steel was really was quite tricky and even the bezels so like the, the chrome bezels that are around um the outside of the dials they're actually i found a guys online that sold ones for an mg for the same like the mgb that i have and bought three of them and they're just all, all they are is like stuck they're not even onto the actual dials they're stuck onto the perforated steel and then the dials sit behind the steel. so it, it was just a whole like it looks it was fantastic a bit of a nightmare it looks great. It like, look like cool. I said, like the, the car is black and menacing. It's like industrial almost. Um, there's like yeah. the, the screws that are kind of like exposed. Are they rivets or screws? I'm not sure, but they, they're screw Yeah, they're screws. So the screws on the dash and then there's also ones on the, the arches that, so they all kind of link in. Um, and then uh, which, is which that looks uh, cool. the, is it wired, wired by Wilson, um, toggle switches or no? 
No, they're just, I think they're just, I forget what company or what they are, but they're just regular. I think I just found them on, found I think they were on one of the mini, mini faces, sides, but they but... were just, but all, all of them have blue LEDs. Yeah. The so like, like the whole team illuminate. of the car was black and blue and it looks, yeah, it looks cool. At night it looks like a bloody, I don't know, some type of disco or something. <laughs> it <laughs> yeah, also helps that car. you're a photographer and you capture it like perfectly. Like, oh, <laughs> like, like if that was me, like it would 100%. be like. <laughs> but like the thing is the car, like the car looks cool. It's a nice car, but. I can guarantee you, in, it, in real life, it doesn't look as cool as it does in my, <laughs> some of the photos. I'm definitely Instagram like, trickery. I'm definitely, yeah, yeah, I'm 100% like, you know, like, it's shooting it in ways that it makes it look cooler than it probably is. But uh, oh, that's like but, mine um, too. It's okay. We, yeah. we, we, all, <laughs> we all have, we all have tricks. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so the toggle switches, yeah, I'm a little blue. And then I got the blue LEDs for behind the... Um, for behind the like the tree dials as well so that's pretty cool so, okay so those light um, up blue now instead of whatever it was yeah. orange or whatever yeah it was kind of the standard yellowy orange or whatever but i got um i got it from a crowd in the, in the uk i think it's classic car leds or something they, yeah i got everything i got the rear lights uh you know the, all the indicator bulbs everything they're all leds now so it's, it's mm -hmm. quite it's quite impressive um, i'm actually going to turn on the light in the shed i just realized it's getting a bit dark here in ireland <laughs> sure 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 Unlike yeah, uh, yeah. unlike Hero, if you guys watched that episode, he went from uh, light to dark, and he was just sitting <laughs> with a black screen at the end. <laughs> That's the photographer of me now. I'm looking at. There like, you oh, go. Look weird. at you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love it. But, um, so uh, yeah, so that was what yeah, other sorry, interesting what, uh, what other interesting um, modifications or anything unique about it that you did that you like, um, whether it's something that so, you built or you put on. I get, yeah, I think the dash, the dash and the wing mirrors were just kind of, that was a bit of a like, oh, this actually works and looks cool moment, you know, um, and the front, the front, da the front dash, um, or front grill, should I say, mm -hmm. that was out of the same material. So that looked kind of cool. Um, but the one, like, what else did I do? Like, there was loads of little bits here and there, all that wiring, like, my God, an SPI is a, is a nightmare for wiring. And I did all the, figured out all the wiring eventually, but there was like, oh, there was weeks there of, of like real headaches but i think that's nearly one of the things i'm the most proud of because it's it's like a tricky thing to figure out when you have no idea how wiring works yeah. um even with so the hands I'm, I'm like, there's, there's a lot of lines and colors oh, there yeah. for the SPI. and then like the thing is once the mini isn't like you know once the mini's been around for a couple of years people have added and taken away things so all them like like colors that the hands manual don't necessarily line up you know <laughs> splices um, so and all kind sorts of, of things yeah, yeah you're you're guessing things like all around the place but um but yeah, I got a front, like, so I got a, what loom did I get? I had to buy one loom. It was the um, front loom, I guess, like the engine. Yeah, yeah the, the engine, engine harness bailing, or whatever yeah. you want to call it. Yeah, okay. I got to get a new one of them. But everything from there back is, is all the original one, which I just kind of tied in. But um, I definitely think if, an, if a, like a proper car, like, like electrician looked at the car, <laughs> there's a lot I added in and like made work that I don't know is the right way to do it, but it hasn't burnt down yet, which is yeah. nice. <laughs> oh, that was like mine too. So I don't know who messed with mine before and I don't even know what they were going to do. Apparently the story was they were going to try to make it a rear or all wheel drive car, which I don't oh, know, wow. but there's a lot of just cut wires and weird splices and, and this, that, <laughs> and then the SPI stuff was like rotted out um because oh, it sat outside for a while so i was like this is a nightmare and i was just like i'm not some of it's no, no longer available so i yeah i just i stripped it all back and if you scroll back on my instagram i'm sure you see my whole wiring loom was out on the ground and i was like pulling single wires out trying to make it oh, take wow, out all wow. the the ecu wires and stuff like that they do a carb conversion yeah. i put it all back together <laughs> and i was like this is gonna work and like nothing and then I don't know what happened. One, I just was back and forth like every day. And one day, I, I feel like I just jiggled some wires and it like turned over. I was like, oh, it works. <laughs> it don't works. touch anything. Don't touch. Yeah. Walk away. Don't yeah. touch. <laughs> Sometimes I just got to jiggle some wires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. We, we have a thing in Ireland called the, um, it's like the NCT, which is the National Car Test. So it's like a, like a road worthiness check. So basically okay. it makes, you know, checks your, everything is, you know, working the way it should and that car okay. is legally allowed on the road. And uh, right. I, my, the mini to this day still has not passed that test. Now I've drove it quite a lot without the test certificate. <laughs> and uh, I mean, allegedly, I mean, whatever, but uh, no, yeah. no, no, it passed. <laughs> but, 
Wink, wink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But um, but it, the last test I was going to, to, on my way to, the car just decided not to start. Like, I was literally getting into the garage being like, right, I'm finally here. The car seems okay. Everything seems to be working. And it didn't start. And what it was was the ignition, the wire between the starter, the re- so not the not the relay and the starter, the the ignition like switch and the relay. Right. So that wire somehow just doesn't work anymore. So <laughs> I had no idea how I followed the whole like line and it was all sealed and stuff. So I don't understand how the wire just decided not to work. Just, just so, but it. like that, it was like, do, but yeah, that was the thing. I was kind of like, do I cut the whole loom and like take out that one wire? And how do I like figure this out? So I ended up just like, put like attaching a wire and then just like taping it all along the loom to the to the relay so it's like completely separate to the loom but it's sitting there and it works and it i'm works. just like walk away it works yeah it works yeah. that's yeah. funny so that's why i i definitely uh like at the very start when i said restoring cars i'm definitely not a re- like <laughs> restoring cars i'm just like making them work in some way yeah, you know <laughs> what though that, that that's yeah, that's the diy way you know if it's sometimes it's like I, I i know i can do it but maybe i don't have like the the proper tools so i have the tools that can get it done other than like the ones that yeah, make it yeah. look super clean like i have wire yes, cutters exactly. but i don't have those cool ones that perfectly pull the sheath back and stuff like that yeah, you know a good I mean? example like, of this is a good example of this is uh you know, the hard brake lines, you know, the copper pipes and some like of the Ooh. car bills have it all like so sweet and oh, perfect. Yeah. And it's all like following in itself. And I'm just like, nyeh, nyeh. oh, <laughs> man, the thing around. It. <laughs> I am uh, so over brake lines that when I pulled my engine <clears throat> recently and I went on that road trip, the previous owner had them like up and over and they were like so ugly and just like you could tell they're hand bent and I was like, oh, I don't want to mess with it. The brakes work. And I, I was like, all right, I'm just going to redo them and run them nice and clean with proper bends and all this. And I got them set up perfectly. And when I was putting the engine back in, it like caught it and bent them all. Oh, no. So I had to pull them back oh, out, no. do it again. So I got it back in. And long story short, after I got back, the brakes were still not working. So a couple times, oh, like the, the older ones that I didn't touch, the uh fitting stripped out so i had to redo them all again i was just like oh i cannot stand those hard brake lines anymore yeah yeah it's full on man and even oh. i know i think it was cole i watched one of cole's videos where he like is it like a flange tool or something or whatever you want to call it whatever like does the flare the, like, tool shape or the flare tool yeah and i remember watching that and was like oh and then i found like online i forget what company it was but you can buy the full kit and it's like yeah. not that yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not like crazy i was like i'm buying the kit i'm like i'm sorry cole like i appreciate your video but i cannot do that it's just intense like i think you mentioned tom sharak sharak he did a video when he was doing his brake lines with like oh, maybe the first it was time. him him actually now that yeah, you say yeah he did yeah, it, it like apparently I, I forget what kind of he did like a uh, uh like a regular flare instead of the bubble flare and he had to go back and fix it it's go like, back and do it. Oh my or gosh. you forget to put the fitting on or one of those yeah it's just uh intense yeah, you know. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's uh it's good though like you know you're like that's the thing with the mini it's like everything's online you, you know you learn so much so much to learn yeah. and it's so possible to learn there's so many cars out there and you if you bought them you'd just be completely yeah. winging it whereas at least this stuff is out there you know yeah the mini is is like i would say it's fairly easy to work on uh, it's pretty straightforward it's just maybe tight spaces or a pain in the ass but overall it's it's a pretty easy car even if you even i said this in the past even if you end up rebuilding your engine it's like most engines i would assume are similar but the rings and and the pistons it's all it's like so simple it's not that hard. really like okay when, it really isn't like you could just check some some uh tolerances with a feeler or whatever it is it's 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 not that bad and the hands manual hands manual will walk you through it Okay, well, there you go. I need to, yeah, maybe I need to tackle it one day. But I got a funny, I actually, this week, I found out something really funny about my engine. So when I, so I, like, for the last, like, two years, I haven't had, I didn't get COVID during all this madness. Like, uh-huh. and literally about two weeks ago, I got it. Um, and I was, so we have, a, like, we have, a, we have two daughters, one, like, brand new one, a little five-week-old girl. But she, Congrats. so we, I was, like, completely, yeah, cheers, man. But we were, I was, like, completely in a separate room. And, you know, I was, but well, basically what I did was I brought all my old, like, receipts and everything that I bought for the Mini. <laughs> and, like, my big folder of, like, things that, like, a couple of things I got with the Mini or whatever. And I sat down in the room and I was like, right, I'm going to, like, sort all this out and see, you know, like, just make a little bit of a 
history log of, of what I've of what I've done to Mini, what was done before it. And when I bought the Mini, your man basically gave me a little folder, but I never really like I kind of skimmed through it and I was like, ah, right, there's a few receipts for things there, but I didn't really pay attention. And um I sat down and I was just went through everything. And it turns out there was a receipt for an engine build for oh. like a fast road engine build. And I was Ooh. like, whoa, like what's this? But it, the receipt, it was funny, is from a guy uh, which Hickey Race Engineering. Have you come across him on Instagram? Yep, yep, Paul? yep. yep. So it's funny. So I was like, during the whole build of the mini, I was chatting to Paul, just asking him some advice because he's, you know, like a couple hours north of here. Okay. Um, and he was helping out loads. He's a really nice guy and really obviously super like knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was only, I like we'd obviously were kind of, you know, connected that way. But uh, it was only when I was looking through the receipts, I realized I was like, geez, Paul has actually done some work on this mini before I even bought it. So I messaged wow. him this week and I was like, I found one of your receipts. Can you like look this up and just see what, what you did? um and let me i just you know what i'll get my phone and like she read out the message because paul was like was like yeah i found it and i think this is what i did like i can't really remember because it was like he said it was back when he was like paper receipts and stuff so he's like this is basically and what this I is think the I engine did. that's in your car right now that's the engine that's in the car right now yeah. oh wow so it that's is, super so awesome he, he, yeah so he said he he bored it plus 20 so he ordered like um what is it plus 0 0.020 pistons yep. or whatever yep, and a swift yep. tune uh, SW5 camshaft and oh, a full gearbox, gearbox bearing set and a cross pin differential or diff yeah so so he was like so I'd imagine this is what I did I put in the cam I rebuilt the gearbox so it's still kind of we're still kind of guessing that's what he did because he just has the order list of right. parts but that sounds kind of what what happened with the engine wow hey that's that's fantastic I wouldn't touch it then yeah <laughs> which is yeah exactly which is pretty nuts now it's not running like the way I have it it's like, you know, the fuel injection unit, like everything, it's just running a little sick. It's not like, it's definitely over or under fueling at times. And it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah. exactly know if it's running. So I literally, I said it to Paul this week. I was like, look, I think I'm just going to send the car up to you. And I want you to just kind of just tighten it up, like look over it and just like, because see, the thing is I've only ever drove that mini and I'm like, cool, this is really fun, but I have no idea. It's just right. really bad. You know, I could drive if like a really sorted bad, mini yeah. and be like, wow. It's terrible. <laughs> right. And that's why I wanted to switch back to carp because I knew that would probably be the issue with the SPI is like getting it tuned right. I, I don't know. I didn't want to mess with that. Yeah. So <laughs> well, well, that's when awesome, I ran it, I ran that's... it through the first test of that, uh, like the NCT, the national car test. And apparently the guy, right. like it failed. And the guy was like, oh, you're like emissions are through the roof. Like it's he's like uh... you're basically like killing polar bears by the minute, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> I, uh, so I, I like so I need to. Yeah. I need to have something looked at and figure it all out. But it is driving, to, like, you know, it drives, but it's just, yeah, it's definitely not running right. It's just polluting our, our world. Thank you. <laughs> it's just it's all my fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I don't drive that far. Sorry. That's funny. That's okay. No worries. No worries. So I want to know, um, tell me a little bit about the uh, 1221 instead of 1275. Yeah. I know it has some so... uh, significance to it. <laughs> yeah, so basically the... The mini along the around the time of uh the mini being built we uh my wife uh fell pregnant with my fir our first girl so uh so that was exciting and that was a whole uh thing happening so it was cool it was funny it was like you know she was uh she was kind of sick during pregnancy so i would be like literally going in you know making her some food and then like she'd be she'd maybe stay in bed for a little while and i'll go out working the mini and i'd get a text be like yeah come in and like we'll, like i'd make her tea or whatever and go back and forth and stuff so it was kind of all happening along the same time. And then uh, we had our little girl, Layla. So she's uh, she's two in like a week, two weeks. So she was born on the 1st of February, 21. Now, I know you guys do it differently in the States, but in, in Ireland, it would be the first, like one, two, two, one. So first of the second month, gotcha. of 21. So that was her. Um, that was her date of birth. Um, and when it came to the mini being all kind of finished, it was black and I just wanted to add something, some type of strip um, of, of some sort. Um, and I just thought, okay, I'll just put a little, I was going to put like a big square, like, like you know, rally number kind of thing. You know, the way they do that. Right, yep. Or the circle yep. sometimes. But um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to do something that different. So I uh, I did the one, two, two, one, which is funny because when you go to, when I go to car meets, the guys are like, is it not a 1275? Like they think it's the engine capacity on the side of the car. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh, you know. I'm well, like, if no, you're, no, if like, you're, like, uh, like, yeah, if you're bored out, you're not even 1275 anymore, right? It's, you're like a, there what, you go. Maybe, maybe who knows? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> maybe we well, don't maybe know. Just, just, in... just tell people it's like a. <laughs> 
or maybe in its, it's Minnie's old age, it's, maybe it's died down to maybe a 12, 21 now. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah, like, there you it's, go. It's not. It's got I, a I lot of different meanings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? That's good. But uh, yeah, to to me anyway, it's yeah, it's it's my little girl Layla's uh, date of birth, so uh, which is kind of cool. So um, and I got a little. That's cool. I like I like unique stuff like parcel that. Shelf as well, which is nice. Oh yeah. I don't know yeah. if I saw any pictures of that uh, or not. Maybe I scrolled uh, I know this is a podcast. Sure. I'll be real quick, but let me see. Can I get it? Let's see. Can yeah, I? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For the people watching Good the video, that... can, can check it out. But it's, I got a little oh, cruiser for, awesome. uh, for going to, to, to car shows and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's so, yeah. epic. I, I love that. Now, I used to skateboard. Like, it's been a couple of years, so I don't know how confident I'd be on that thing. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I get you. I found mine, like, someone threw their old, like, uh, cruiser out like that by the dumpster. It wasn't in the dumpster. I didn't dumpster it out, but it's all, it's all rusted <laughs> like my car, so I should take that to car shows. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I love it. I love the mini. I love the style. The you know, the obviously the the photography is epic. So um, if you guys go check out his mini on Instagram, you'll see everything we're talking about. The Irish mini, uh, no spaces or anything like that. You'll see it. Um, I wanted to kind of jump back. I know you said you have an MGB, and I don't know if yeah. you kind of brushed over this or if I missed it, but. Did you not do any work on that or you kind of bought it running and driving or you had kinda, some to do it was, work on it? Yeah, no, I bought it running and driving and it was it was like everything was nice, let's say running wise. It ran really well. And still to this day, I haven't really touched like, I've you know, I've taken auxiliary stuff around the engine bay out and kind of cleaned it up a little bit. But the actual engine itself has not been touched. And that thing is like so reliable. I love that car. We even used it. We used it for our wedding a few months ago and it's like yeah it's just it's a really 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 reliable fun car um don't use it as much now because obviously we have the two girls and it's a two-seater sports car but it's nice for right. me that on an early early sunday morning maybe at 5 a.m to go for a little boost somewhere you know but um but it's uh yeah it's really well, reliable great car but that's sorry go on no i was gonna say that's where the mini comes in is uh the it's a family car so is a gonus would be yeah. uh, very proud to put the two girls in the back and go for a little yeah. uh jaunt yeah, on I'm the actually countryside considering, i'm considering a roof box for the mini i think but then again it's like that thing of adding too much but uh i i think um i think you know just for a little family trip yeah, you could take it on and off pretty wild yeah there yeah you go, exactly i went to a um, car yeah. show or a car meet rather i went to a car meet rather um I forget when I, I want to say it was a, a Volkswagen Beetle, but it was like hot rotted out. This thing came like in, like you could hear it from a mile away and it was a young couple and they had their, their babies in the back in car seats. And I was like, this is awesome. So <laughs> like a, yeah, a, so a, they, they, they need to be used. Like they got a back seat. Like it's a car, like screw yeah. it. Let's take them. <laughs> yeah. That's it exactly. Yeah, like our our little two, like the two year old definitely can go in. Like you know, there's all different. Like, have you got kids? Have you? Have you? Uh, do you have kids? No. Yes. No, just just the English no. bulldog. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, like it's funny with kids. Like the newborn, like the little girl now. She obviously there's like seats that don't really work in any classic car that will fit a newborn. But uh, yeah. but the two year old now, she can she comes to car shows with me and she loves it. You know, absolutely loves pointing at the room. So good. So uh, it's so sick. I love so it. Good. Yeah um but yeah the the, the well, mg is yeah it's here and it's it's yeah i love the, the mg it'll kind of stay in the family i think i don't think i'll ever sell it. it's actually 50 years old this year which is insane and it's still running really well wow. um and yeah it definitely like you know it, I, it's kind of one of those good from far but far from good when you look you know when you get close up to it it's there's there's little rust spots and there's little there's bubbles here and there but yeah yeah, but it means I can drive it, and like I don't want to. Like I did have a thought about doing the whole thing I did with the mini, about stripping it back. But then I kind of would be afraid to drive it. I love driving that car, so um, yeah, it's yeah, staying, it's staying for a it. while. Maybe one day you'll you know you'll get it resprayed or something like yeah. that. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna try yeah, using the, it a lot this year because when... I feel when it's since it's 50 years old, I should you know I should celebrate it being 50 yeah. years old. You know, celebrate it, yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have any other projects or anything like that or anything uh, planned uh, for well, either car? Um, for the Mini, like I said, yeah, roll cage maybe. That's kind of possibly on the card. But then again, like I was saying with the kids and the seats and stuff, I think if I put in the roll cage, I don't mm -hmm. know how that would affect that. But, uh, but and, and you yeah. know the way people say when if you crash with a roll cage, it's actually safer. Well, 
unless you're wearing a helmet, it's like safer not to have a roll cage. There's all this kind of kind of right. debate about that. So, um, but anyway, so that's that's a possibility. The mini, it does. Like I said, I, I'm trying to, you know, hopefully bring it up to, to Paul from HRE and, and get him to just kind of tune it and correct it. But um, other than that, it's I'm pretty yeah. happy with the way it looks and the way it, you know, the way it is at the moment. Aesthetically, it just needs to be kind of feel a bit better, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. And just then, a little tune up. It looks good so far, man. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's pretty much it. I got a like I recently bought another little project car, but it's more of a, a modern uh, little kind of thing. So I don't I, like it's not really your style, maybe, but it's a Golf GTI, uh, like a Mark IV Golf. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a nice. I spin the camera. I don't know if anyone watching is interested, but there's the MG and there's the Golf. Oh, nice! So, oh, those are cool. Yeah, no, those are cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm into cool. you pretty, know cars um, like that. I have some new minis, but um, yeah, just uh, it's. I like to I like to mess with the car. Like yesterday, my my uh, newer BMW mini, the battery died, and it was the biggest pain in the ass. I had to pull like all these panels off. It yeah. took like an hour just to get to the battery. And it was like, I had to pull the air box. I'm like, what the fuck? Like it's uh yeah, yeah. it's so insane. That's kind insane of why the I, amount of, like, I won't get into those anymore. That's... Yeah. And then newer cars, it's like 90% plastic. And like, you know, you know, before you actually get yeah. to the job, it's like, yeah, it's insane. But yeah, uh, yeah but then, yeah, you know, yeah. they're reliable, a little bit more reliable. So <laughs> that's the other side of it. It depends how you look at it, I guess. I don't know. You just yeah. said your MGB <laughs> is 50 years old and still running like a champ. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I actually, one, one of the guys I was talking to recently, he's a, he's a, like a new mini, like a BMW mini guy. And right. uh, me, me and him were talking about, like, I was saying, wouldn't it be so cool to get, is it like, I don't even know the, the is it an R56 an R53 or whatever the, the, the newer mini is, the kind of Both of them, one. yeah. 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 But he was saying how cool it would be to try and get one. Like if you get one cheap and like spray it black, white roof, do the white arches and yeah. like kind of copy, have to have the two. I was sick with that. That would be, be cool. But that's, uh, that's, I don't know. That's too much money for me. To yeah, it would up, be cool. Uh, yeah, it would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> be pretty sick. All right. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Well, let's see here, David. Let's get into the Patty Pro. Dun, 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 okay. dun. All righty. <laughs> And I still haven't actually come up with a theme music for it, so I'm just going to keep doing it. My what you did there sounds pretty good. Man. Yeah, it's pretty good, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, let's see. So, <clears throat> what is your favorite mini variant? Ah, uh, um, like, you, you, the guy No Limits has me kind of like, or no limit or whatever he has me kind of like swayed towards the pickup it's such a like and i think everyone loves the pickup just because they're not as common right um but yeah i think like look yeah if i could if i was to buy another mini and the option of every variant was there somehow i would probably pick the probably pick a pickup just because it's just so different and they i'd love to just cool. throw throw a surfboard in the back of it and just yeah it would be such a sick little car to take down to the beach oh but, yeah yeah um, yeah he turns yeah heads so that's like probably it. my choice we're always jealous we go to you know little meets or whatever and we all pull in everyone's like oh minis minis and then they see the the truck and they're like oh everyone just leaves and yeah, goes yeah. To the truck <laughs> and i love it's not something like such a thing in ireland because we don't have huge pickup trucks we have like you know ford rangers and stuff but they're not big big ones right but um but you know, i love the photos he puts up with the big like like the dual wheel ones and it's Yo, like his thing is like <laughs> so funny mini is like the size of one of their doors like it's insane. oh yeah 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 it's it's awesome <laughs> no it's <clears throat> All righty. I don't know if you've gone this far down the rabbit hole since you seem to be a fairly new mini owner, but uh, A series, Honda Swap, or other? Okay, so I've I've watched all the like Steves and Motorco and a couple of the Honda Swap guys and stuff. Yep. Like, and I haven't drove like enough to kind of see what would be the difference, but like the Honda Swap, especially on, on that car, because it kind of would maybe it would suit it a little bit because it's got that kind of wild look, but right. Uh, I did, I did look into it, but it's, it's, it's not cheap. You know, it's, it's like, there's a, it's a big, it's a big project and you need to know your, your stuff, uh, yeah. big time, you know? Um, so I love the engine, I think 1275 and maybe I'd, like I said, maybe it's more power and then we don't even know, but like, I think when I'm driving that, I think I'm going like terrifyingly fast. And it's only <laughs> when like a cyclist passes me out that I realize yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. going that fast. <laughs> 
That's what yeah. I said, man. The A series is rowdy, man. It, it's it, for the twelve seventy five or more. It still feels fast. So I can't imagine what a Honda like, swap think, feels like, like. Yeah, I think if you put like a twelve seventy five in any other car, or you know, or like it would <laughs> yeah. just wouldn't work, obviously. But it's just the fact that you're so low, your steering is so you know tight, and uh, everything's kind of like loud and you know you're so close to the ground i think it like it works for that car and i i'm happy with that i think if i went any faster i'd do damage so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i agree i agree i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with stock like All right. stock 1275 <laughs> i like it cool um what's your favorite mini modification either one that you've done or one that you plan to do or want to do rather um i think like not like i kind of sound like i'm a talking about myself a bit but like that dashboard i am really proud of that which is like i'm gonna say that but outside of that um yeah like i do like the wide look i like the arches and you know but yeah maybe i need to drive a 10 inch wheel one and then maybe i'd be converted back or something but no i think the like that dashboard for me was my modification that i i enjoyed the most and i kind of got the most out of because i was like wow i actually made something that looks cool how did i do that <laughs> um so so yeah i'm gonna go with that for me anyway that's that's my favorite my no, that dash favorite looks really good it's very clean very simple very industrial it's spaced properly it doesn't look slapped together yeah and i even got these little like um like uh one two two one like that's my my daughter's birthday like i got that on the dash in these chrome little lettering things which right. i thought was really sweet as well it just matches it so it does. yeah i'm pretty that's proud good. of that that would be that would be the thing for me anyway awesome good answer um 10 inch 12 inch 13 inch <laughs> i'm gonna just like say 13 inch because i have them and i haven't drove anything else but i do love the look of them like cafe racer 10 inch ones you know, I, I think, and everyone talks about how it drives so much better. So maybe one day I'll experience it and I'll change my mind. But I, all I have to go off right now is twelve or is thirteen inch, and uh, so that's what I'll go with looks wise. But I feel like if I drove a ten inch car, ten inch wheel car, I'd, I'd probably change my mind pretty fast. But yeah. We'll go yeah, maybe. I mean, yours just it, it like I said, 13s are not my thing, but I love your wheel and I love your style of it. You you know, it looks really good. I think if you were to go 10s, you might like the ride better. I I don't know. Yeah. It could be your preference thing, but um you would have to, you know, maybe you could still run wide wide 10-inch wheels. You could get you know, six and a half or seven inch wheels that would fit those flares yeah. and it would look pretty mean still. Well, they're sevens. Yeah, they're 13 by sevens on the... Yeah, on the... you would have to get some wide boys or maybe some um, yeah. spacers and, and like that similar mesh pattern. I think it would look pretty mean too, but... It would uh, look pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe try it one day and you have uh, two options because they both look cool. You can't, you can't just put like, obviously with my brake... Yeah, you got to yeah. get like a whole conversion, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's pretty simple. I honestly, it's fairly cheap. You can, I think, Mini Sport or Mini Spares has it. It's a couple hundred bucks, and it comes with the new brake caliper, the brake rotor, the oh, hub. Cool. Okay. And you basically just have to unbolt and rebolt it back on. Obviously, then bleeding cool. brakes and everything. But it's it's pretty simple yeah. swap. <laughs> yeah, pretty simple okay. swap. Well, maybe maybe down the line it could change the car completely. You know, but. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. What uh, What is the most pain in the ass job you did while uh, kind oh of God. restoring this uh, mini here? Um, restoring the mini. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> every job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every job. No. Um, okay. Let me think. Let me think. Um, oh yeah, you know the ball joints, like the you know where you have to add the shims. Like oh my god, that thing oh, wrecks my Jesus. head. Where you have to like tighten it and then it's not tight and then you loosen it's too loose and then you take put in one shim and then the shim is too thick uh, oh my god man like i remember because i think i was doing them on a vice or something and i remember being like oh my god there is this is actually like not possible like there's like i don't know the universe is against me but i yeah i remember that taking forever and then um yeah it's that that's just one that jumps out of me and then i just remember there's a couple and i've actually kept a few i have a little box it's in the other garage but it's of like like even like angle grinded or like like basically broke apart bolts that just wouldn't come that I had to and I remember like saving them because I was like oh my god this was like a week of my life and I'm gonna like just save this little piece of metal and be like look at it every time I like, put it in like a shadow know, like, box on the wall never forget yeah yeah exactly yeah like frame <laughs> it you know and just be like because because my god there was some I can't even remember which one 
which was like a big, uh, there was just a few that just really like tested my patience, you know, <laughs> especially when I first got the car and I was stripping it back and there was things just stuck there for years and years and years. But, oh, uh, yeah. but yeah, it's not, it's, it's one of those. And then, oh yeah, do you know what actually the biggest job that I, I despise in the mini and I'm going to actually, the next time I change my coolant, I'm going to get a different radiator because the whole thing about the long screwdriver down to the bottom of that bre- the coolant hose Oh, and then the yeah. coolant just goes everywhere, everywhere, like all over the garage, and there's no way of uh, of catching it all or whatever. Yeah, um, I got one with the little drain all. plug on the front, and it's much easier. Okay, it's still it's still yeah, yeah I it's hard to... to catch, but it's much easier than the freaking long screwdriver and extension. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah, there, I I this, I said it like the last time I changed it, I was like, right, like I'm I'm filling it up with coolant this time, and the next time I put in fresh coolant i'm it's it's coming out because it's just yeah. it it just wrecks my head man i know there's a company company fletcher or something isn't it or yep they make pretty cool ones but yep. yeah i need to look into it but yeah that's definitely something at some time or else the, or else the, that coolant is just going to be in there forever because i'm not i'm not going <laughs> i'm not messing with it <laughs> perfect perfect <laughs> um all right last question if you could have a drink with one mini celeb who would it be um uh god god i don't know um i guess i think i don't know like i i think i do you know what because i probably owe him a drink no actually can i put two people in no i probably sure am i I breaking the rules there's there's no rules in patty pro (laughs) it would probably be tom Chirac and cole from class mini because i feel like i owe them guys a drink at the for at this stage so i would be the round would be on me because uh there's, you know, nothing back there would have been, it, it, nothing in the car would have been built without them guys, you know? So yeah, uh, I agree with that so, one um, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just buy him a drink and be like, guys, you didn't even realize, but you did this. You, <laughs> you pretty yeah. much built this car for me. Yeah, so, um, no, absolutely. Yeah. We, we've talked about it on the, on past shows of men. There's just so much knowledge out there on YouTube or in the Facebook forums or, or groups, whatever it's called. But yeah, it helped me a ton too. You know, it, it's a, it's the confidence thing. Like you said with Tom, you know, I, I you know, I chat with him every once in a while. He, he's going to be on the show later, but um it's Absolutely. just his his thing of uh, giving it a go, and you know I don't know how to do it, but I'm going to learn how to do it. And if I mess yeah. it up, I'm going to fix it. It's it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's insane. Even what he's doing with that, uh, God, I forget what he calls it now, like that rusty project or whatever he calls it. Yeah, the, the turd tech, I think. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Yeah, so like, and he's still welding away on that thing, and he's yeah, and it's just like God, that thing was a. a, a, a a sorry state when he got it so he's done like it's just amazing so yeah, yeah. even that side of things for me for welding i'm looking at that being like ah oh, okay like maybe i can just give welding a proper stab at some stage you know but yeah, i still i still am terrified of it <laughs> yeah it's it's it, it once you do it once it's fine and you'll, you'll get better at it like i said i'm not good at it but you know i've put some things together and uh i think always what, I, what I did was i i learned with like box i'd practice with some like thick box metal and it's right. quite easy to do that. And then when you start doing like thin car, yes, it's just a whole other story. So yes, like that's kind of what I need to practice on before, because that's what I, you know essentially would be using it on. You know. Agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> All right, David, tell us where to find you. I know uh, the Irish. Is it the Irish Mini? It's the Irish. The Mini Irish on. Mini. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's me, and that's pretty much it. Instagram. I just like if you just like obviously I have a personal Instagram, but if you just want to mini stuff, the. Uh, the, the Irish Mini is the one, and uh, yeah, I throw up a few photos every now and again. Um, I'm not too busy on it, um, and I definitely don't talk to camera. I'm not that <laughs> that confident to do stuff like that, but yeah. I uh, <clears throat> put up a couple of cool photos every now and again. So that's uh, that's a place to find pictures of the Mini anyway. Yeah, plug your uh, plug your <laughs> photography business if you want, because I think uh, oh. <laughs> you have some great photos. And if you're in the his area, and like, he's got some great yeah, great sure. photography yeah, skills. Well, so myself and my wife own a company and we, we're called Awake and Dreaming Photography. So that's us. So um, we actually do a lot of work uh, for people from the from the US who come over to Ireland and get, get married or get, you know, whatever. So we've Look done a, that. A, a good lot of stuff. So you never know what might link up if I, yeah. someone comes knocking on the door and has a, you know, knows something about a mini as well. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Seriously. No, that's cool. So, yeah. Listen, there's a, a great photography, um, awesome Instagram. Uh, I appreciate you being on. And um, thank you, everyone, for listening. Catch you on the next one. Thanks so much, man. Cheers.